Once you've got your market set up in Guardian, um, you know, let's have a fiddle around on the screen because what you can actually do is take components of the screen and change the way that it looks. So if you don't like the market selection screen over here, if I click in the bar up here and then immediately start dragging, can you see I can move this around? So I can sort of say, well, we'll have that up there. And then it's like, well, no, actually, I'd quite like it down here. But you also get little prompts here on the side of the screen which will basically indicate to you where you can put all of these individual sections. Or if you want to, you can tab it. And by tabbing it, what it does is it adds it to these lists of items at the bottom here. So you've got pretty, you know, a very large range of um, options that you can have here. It's entirely up to you how you want your screen to be displayed. The default display mode um, is what you've seen already, but you know, there's no reason why you can't adjust it to exactly the way that you want. So if you want to have all of these lists right across the screen, then you may want to tab all of the other functions at the bottom here. So you've got market selection, quick picks, odds, matched odds, match bets, log of the individual markets and so on. So you can basically move all those around and you know if we wanted to say put unmatched bets up here um, we can pop that over here if we want to. Well I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's click this again and we'll park it over there so that we can get unmatched bets in the market from across there. You can pin and unpin items as well. I mean that there's an awful lot to do here. I could meticulously go through all of these individual areas if I wanted to. Um, but the best thing to do is to just have a good old play around with each of these because there's so many different um, functions that you can have within here that um, it, it's quite possible to uh, have an infinite number of varieties. But once you've found a screen that you like, if you go up to settings, you can actually save the screen layout here and then restore the screen layout when you come back in or delete your existing layout and, and so on, subject to exactly what you want to do. But basically modify and uh, adjust all of these parameters yourself, get the display how you wish, then save the screen layout and then obviously um, that can be suited to however you wish the screen to uh, be laid out. And uh, that, you know that's a fairly significant change in the way the Guardian works here. Um, very flexible in terms of what you want to do. You can also save settings as well because if you go back to the market screen here you can see here it says automatically switch BetAngel. So if you want BetAngel to cycle through these markets as the day progresses you can actually get that to do that automatically and if you want to save that you can see it's done it there as soon as I clicked it it jumped to that particular market. You can save that setting in here as well as your screen layout. So um, the screen layout is very flexible absolutely tons that you can do with it use these little bars in the middle to either put it to one side or the other, this one in there to tab it, or you can just have it free floating um, or docked uh, or pinned to the top, whichever you want to do. Very flexible uh, to manipulate the layout in the way that you want to present Guardian.